So this video is going to show you how to export your CAD file and import it into MakerBot to prepare it to be 3D printed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Onshape where we have our CAD files. Um, make sure that you have one part here. That would be ideal um, so that it gets all assembled or sorry, um, exported as one part. And what you're going to want to do is right click on part one here and just say export. And please name it something so that we know what this is. So I'm going to say Miss G cross country. And you can leave the units in millimeters. A lot of 3D print programs expect millimeters. And I'm going to hit OK here. And now you can see it downloaded a file that's called STL. Um, I forgot to say this, but let me say one more thing. If you export it, make sure the format here is changed to STL. I'm not sure what the default in Onshape is, but mine was already set up for STL. That is the file type that 3D print files expect. So now that we're there, uh, you're going to want to go to the desktop and run MakerBot Print. If it's not here on your icons, you can always search for it under the part or program files. And once you get to this screen, it is our standard login with the standard password. I don't know the password, it's written on the top left of the classroom board. We're going to log in. And now the next thing we're going to do is select a printer. I would like you to pick the Mini or the Mini Plus, one of these two. These are the two that we're going to be using to print your files. And so now you can see it's a much smaller printer. And now we're going to say insert file. And this is where you need to know where you downloaded your uh, print file, your STL file too. So I'm going to click on downloads and here's my file. You cannot double click, let me say. Um, I should have said this before. Once it downloads in this window and it shows up here, you can't double click here. It does not know which program to run to open that file. So just come here and open it. Now, as we discussed, you don't want to print your print file like this. This wouldn't make sense. You want to print it flat on the print bed. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that it's selected. You can tell it's selected because it's highlighted in blue, or you can just click on it. And now we're going to orient this. So you have to rotate the object so that it's flat. Now you can look at this little um, coordinate system to know which way to rotate it. I can see I need to rotate it around the X axis. So I'm just going to hit this. If you go the wrong way, just click the other way. That's fine. So that's the first step. The next step, I like to do is I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to rotate this also around Z so that it's um, going the, this, this print bed, if you notice, is longer in this direction than this direction. So I'd rather the longer axis be along the longer axis of the printer. But now you see that it's saying, oh, I can't print this. It's off the print bed. Well, you can just come up here and hit arrange and then arrange build plate and it will automatically center that for you. Now, my model doesn't have a hole for a keychain. Hopefully yours does. Um, this is just a quick demo. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do for this MakerBot print, actually, let me make this bigger, is in case you need supports, um, you need to check that. You can always check this, and if you don't need supports, then it just won't put any in. So you might want to just go with that. And this is a must. If you don't add these settings that I'm about to show you, um, then your print, the raft won't come off your print. Uh, it just is the way our printers have been working. So you come down here to base layer, and the base layer is where the raft settings are, and go the whole way to the end. And I would say increase this number here to 5. So I think it's easier just to go in and type it in rather than clicking the plus. This setting here, uh, you can change this to 0.33. And hit it, always hit enter. If you don't hit enter, it doesn't tend to accept it. And then the last setting, 0.37. So again, raft size was 5, and then the next two is 0 0.33, 0 0.37, and hit done. So that should be all the settings that you need to change. Um, oh, one last thing. My model came in automatically in the correct units. Um, if yours came out very small, you may need to come to this model info. And you see here, my units were set up for millimeters. 
So make sure if you exported it in millimeters, it, then this here is expecting it in millimeters. If it says inches, then that might be why your part file is very small. So at this point, what I'd like you to do is go to this estimates and print preview and just click on it. And it's going to predict what's going to happen when we print it. So the couple of things that I would like you to add to your, um, your Google form is please add in this right here, the, the amount in grams of filament that it's going to use and the time it's going to take to print it. So you can see it's going to take around nine grams of filament and 46 minutes to print. Um, another thing that's interesting here is this shows you the orange is support material. So this orange is going to be your raft. You can rotate this around using your right mouse key and you can zoom in using your middle mouse scroll button. Um, and so you can just sort of see how it's going to print. You can even see the different layers in there. All right. Um, now, the other thing you're going to need on the form is the color. Let me show you here. These are basically your standard uh, MakerBot colors that we have available for you. We also have two other colors, which is a translucent red and a translucent blue. You can look at those and see which ones you want, but please pick from these colors on the 3D print form. And here's the form. Uh, you're just describing it here. I want you to copy the URL, which is the website link to your on-shape model. Um, let me show you, you have to change the share settings. So to change that, you just come up here to share. Um, and under individuals, you just type in my name here, E. Giovinardi. Um, and make sure that you leave can edit on there. That's in case I need to make any changes to your model. Last thing you're going to need to do for the Google form um, is to save this MakerBot file. So I'm going to click out of this and I'm going to come up here and say save project as, and you can name it your file name, whatever you named it and save it wherever you want. doesn't really matter. Just know where you saved it. And then in the Google form, which looks like this, um, you're going to need to add the file right here, upload your MakerBot print file here. Um, and also make sure you have pasted that URL, which again, um, once you share it here, it will show up and you can say copy link. And if that doesn't work, you can just copy the link from right here. So that should be about all you need. Um, make sure on the print file you indicate what color you want down here. Um, and there are the questions about how long it will take and the filament amount. And that about does it. Oh, the last thing down here on the form is, do you really want it to be printed? Um, I know some years students have said, oh, I don't really care if I get it printed and they throw it out. So um, I wanna know if you actually want it printed or not. So that's all that question is about. So that's it.